it's your girl Philomena, and today I am a special guest of a special guest here in Liberia, Omar Edwards, a world-renowned dancer, entertainer, and musician. He is here sharing his craft with Liberia, and make sure you stay tuned. It's going to be a great and inspirational week. I am here with the world-renowned dancer, entertainer, musician, Omar Edwards. He has his tap shoes in his hands. Show the people. Thank you so much for letting me come and interview you today. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about you from our friend Dr. Kula, hey. uh, that you're coming to visit and bring your passion yes. and your entertainment, your dancing yes. uh, to Liberia. Can yes. we, first of all, tell us how you got started in tap dancing. Uh or dancing in general? Maybe 30 <laughs> some years ago, I like the 30 <laughs> some years ago. Don't show your I, I fell in love with the art form that is known as tap dancing, but it used to be known as story dancing. Okay. Uh, in the original, in okay. the original conception, inception, uh, it used to be known as story dancing. So tap dancing is very special art form. It uh, requires special people and special attention. Mm -hmm and it can be very liberating mm -hmm. and i feel like bringing tap dancing to africa from my perspective will empower them if they could if i could find two three four five kids or adults who take an understanding to it not just a liking to mm -hmm. it but an understanding mm -hmm. i think i can empower them to create something very special mm -hmm. and then one day when i meet them Ten years from now, As they, grow up. they may become something marvelous, yes. you know, and be able to give to the dance and to the people beautiful stories yes. and beautiful messages of skill and imagination. Um, yes. So, so one thing um, since I moved back, you know, I've noticed, you know, especially in the U.S., our kids have extracurricular activities. Mm. They have all these out. Uh, options to express themselves yes. and it's not here in Liberia it's not here in Africa you know children mm -hmm. are working they're trying to provide for their home so things like this are near and dear to my heart you don't know this but my audience knows I found a group uh, a couple years ago the Liberian Youth Orchestra and it started with someone kind of like you a missionary Julie came okay. she was playing the violin she plays the violin and she started to teach some of the kids. And now there's a whole youth orchestra exactly. that goes and performs around Liberia. And exactly. every time I see them play, it gives me chills. Oh. And this can be the beginning of something uh, I think that special. you can do. Yes. Um, so the African I, mind, I'm sorry to uh -huh, cut you off, uh -huh. but that's what intrigues me so much is to be able to put something with the African mind. There's no mind like an African mm -hmm. mind. So I want to see what happens if you take this African-American art form and give it to an African and merge the two what does yeah. their mind do with this yes that's that's the experiment and I me. think also while you're here uh, kind of uh, infusing African dance cultural dance Liberia is known for their cultural dance we sure. have 16 tribes each tribe has their unique dance sure. so I would love to see an infusion of you know, the Pele dance with a little yes, tap. Yes, yes. I, I think I'm going to make that happen. I would love to infuse that <laughs> myself. Coming soon. So I read about your, uh, what you call your specific dance, Afro feet. Yes. Can you explain that? Well, my mother, who is from Monrovia, Liberia. I just found this out, guys, like five seconds ago. This is so amazing. She didn't get her first pair of shoes until she was uh, 14. So, and her first job was to stand in front of a, on stand in a cornfield corn on a piece of wood, barefoot, uh, to be like a human scarecrow. Oh wow! So, I uh, I was daydreaming one day about that. I just saw her on this piece of wood, barefoot. And I was like, hmm. And then I started experimenting with performing barefoot, tap dancing. And then I realized that the tap dancing, as much as I love these shoes, is not about these shoes. Right. It's about you. Yes. and your knowledge and expertise of your feet and 
something about that I realized that um, you know energy too so a lot of tap dancers can tap dance especially in 2024 there's lots of people who own shoes and mm -hmm. can tap dance and they can tap dance well maybe faster than me maybe trickier than me <laughs> intricate but they don't have a certain feeling right and that feeling is what changes the world to me mm -hmm. and that's why I had to change what I do from tap dancing to afro feet because mm -hmm. it is something very black very African very Omar <laughs> and it's not <laughs> just the vocabulary of right. tap dancing right. it is totally me infused in t inside of tap dancing right. so the approach I'm taking is my approach right so I had to give it a little bit of a name and I've seen I've seen a glimpse of it we're here at another orphanage here uh, right now and we're gonna see even more I see the afro feet and yes. uh, I think I read a quote from you that said um, you know I I'm a dancer but I use this art form to express my vocabulary my my feelings my and you just seeing you mix with the kids is is, yes. is a very incredible experience which the audience is going to see yes. soon yes. but this afrofeed has taken you all around the world how yes. many countries now 22 countries is this 22 or 23 this is 22 okay 22 and i and how does it feel with this special connection mm -hmm. with your mother being liberian you being here does it does it bring is that is that mom? I don't know. It could have been. It could have been. She wanted to make a cameo. Yeah, she made a cameo. Uh, is is it a special part piece of your heart that being here in Liberia? Yes, of course. Uh, all, when I'm working or being me in New York or America, I'm known as Mr. Omar. Like, yeah. but when I'm here, I'm Uncle Omar. Yes. And it has to be that way because this is not about money. This is about giving something to people who need somebody to give them something yeah, yeah. yeah i'm on me? instagram okay. you can catch me on instagram omar underscore edwards seven okay i, th I thought that was you yes <laughs> with the tattooed feet you know one says love and one says freedom so what's one thing you would like to leave the audience with uh maybe a special mm. uh, statement or quote or something yes <laughs> special statement or quote everybody tells you to be smart but nobody tells you how so if you're young or you're old dig this one Intelligence is the quality of your awareness. This brother is deep, you know, I and this deep. is, <laughs> we appreciate having him here. And this, we continue to bridge the gap with the diaspora, that you are an amazing piece of it. And I look forward to seeing you perform here and many other places. And we welcome you to Liberia. Open arms, our brother. <laughs> This is really amazing. I didn't know he was like...